Hi everyone, it is Kimber, the study abroad specialist here. And in today's video, we are going to be discussing how you can stop acting like a tourist while you're studying abroad and start living like a local. So before we dive into the topic today, I just want to say thank you so much for all of your messages. I got some DMs, I got some messages on uh, social media about you know, saying thank you for making the series about study abroad agents, advisors, and consultants. I know that that is always kind of a huge topic when people are starting their study abroad journey search and when they're just getting started. And so I was so happy to put that together. Um, if there's any other type of, you know, series that you want me to put together or any other questions that you have that you think that would make a good video, please leave those in the description below. I would love to hear, you know, kind of what some of your interests are as you start thinking about study abroad. So the first way that you can do this is to, and these are all really quick things that you can do. I mean, it's not going to happen necessarily overnight. Um, but I mean, like within like your first couple of weeks, you can do all these things. So the very first one is pretty basic, but it's one that I talk about all the time, particularly within the members club, as I start working with students and, you know, they get started on their membership and they're trying to think of ways to really make their first month really work for them. So that is one of the um, initial bundles that we have within the members club. If you're interested in learning more about the Live, Study, Learn um, Abroad Association, please click down in the description below. Um, that is the online study abroad community that I founded and that I run. Um, but the very first thing that you can do to sort of transition from feeling like a tourist, feeling like an outsider to sort of feeling like, you know, you have the inside knowledge and that you are, um, you know, starting to feel more like a local is to definitely try to assimilate. Now, I know that that seems like a really sort of big word and it is, I mean, there's so many different ways to assimilate, but I think that the, the main thing that you can sort of take away from that is in this context, you really just want to sort of think about the fact that you are now in a new place. So you have decided that you want to travel to XYZ. You want to live here for a certain amount of time. Usually it's going to be three to six months. It could be longer if you're doing a degree program um, abroad as well. But no matter how long you're going to be away, you have decided that you want to sort of do this. So you almost need to, in a way, take on a, I don't want to say a new identity, but you need to create a secondary identity for yourself that is different from what you would have when you are at home. When I say that, I mean that, you know, you are still the same person. You don't want to, you know, commit fraud or anything in terms of identity. But what I'm saying is that you want to sort of say like, you know, I, you know, have been living in X place for, you know, all my life or wherever I'm from, but now I'm in this new place. I need to figure out, you know, what's expected of me when I'm here in terms of the cultural norms. What do I need to do? I need to sort of be accepting to the new experiences. I need to make sure that I am definitely open to those experiences as well. And also that you are there to learn. So obviously, you know, with study abroad, you're gonna be there to actually learn whatever you're doing academically, but you also want to consider yourself to be a sponge as well anytime that you're doing anything that is cultural. And that's a huge part of it. I think that in a lot of ways, a lot of students grow more personally and culturally than they do academically. Now, don't get me wrong, even in my own study abroad programs, obviously for my um, advanced degrees, I definitely learned a lot, but even when I was going to London for the first time and when I studied in Italy and I was just doing kind of like the semester long programs where I had academic courses, I definitely learned a lot of things, but so much of what I learned sort of took place outside of the classroom. And I think that that is something that a lot of students, particularly now um, with the Gen Zers, with the Gen Zers, they definitely want to have those experiences as well. So they definitely want to have, you know, sort of those outside of the classroom experiences that are not just focused strictly on the academics. So I would say that you definitely want to figure out how you can assimilate so that you can make you know, your experience the best as possible. If you are having a hard time assimilating, and I know a lot of uh, people do, I often say that particularly for Americans, it's really hard because 
Um, you know, we, we tend to have a culture that is dominant around the world. A lot of people tend to emulate what we do. So when we go abroad, in a lot of ways, it's really hard to do that. But you also need to realize that every single individual place has its own culture, um, no matter where you're going, no matter what, you know, country you're in, city you're in, even if you're in a place like United States, what state you're in, every place has its own culture. And so if you're able to assimilate, no matter where you're studying abroad, very quickly and sort of be open to those new experiences, it's going to help you out so much. You're going to be able to have a better experience, be able to learn a lot and be able to connect with people even quicker than you would have thought before. So the second way that you can quickly be able to transition from tourist mode to feeling like a local is basically to be able to mirror what the locals do. So this is kind of following up from the assimilation, but it's taking it one step deeper because you're basically trying to, um, you know, fit in to a certain extent. You don't, most people, no matter who they are, they don't want to stand out, especially for the wrong reasons. And so you definitely want to sort of try and be able to fit into the culture and, you know, make your way, your own path within the culture, but also feel like you actually belong there. So whether it be from, you know, sort of learning more about the cuisine of the culture that you're in. So, you know, as I talked about in a previous video a little while back, like one of the things that was really helpful for me when I was in Italy was, you know, since um, in Italy, food and kind of eating and connecting to people around food is such a huge part of the culture that, you know, one of the things I tried to do every week with my roommates that I was living with was to create these kind of, um, you know, not from sort of reinventing the wheel, but like just trying to create like these traditional Italian meals. And it really helped not just to, you know, kind of learn how to put things together, but also to like within our studies, like it also helped me as I was learning Italian to like learn the different things and learn the different ingredients and things like that. So that's just one example. So it could be that you do something like that where you are basically trying to immerse yourself in the culture that way. It could also be obviously if you are in a place where you're learning a new language, um, I've also talked about this before. A lot of times it can be really intimidating and particularly if you're coming from a place where, um, you know, let's say English is your first language, like a lot of us, and you're going to a place where you're trying to learn a foreign language, maybe you've been learning it beforehand or, you know, maybe you're learning it while you are there, sorry. Um, like one of the things you will often face is that a lot of people around the world, even if let's say their first language is Spanish, um, they tend to be a little bit more um, advanced in terms of like their cultural, uh, you know, kind of gravitas. And so they also probably speak English in a lot of places. And so if they find out that you are coming from a place where you speak English, they're probably just going to want to speak English to you. You have to push back against that. So I have talked about this in previous videos, how when I was in Italy and I really wanted to at least try to practice my skills. And a lot of times once people would either, you know, kind of learn I was from the United States or they would hear me say something, they would just start talking in English. And I just had to be like very kind of, you know, hardcore, like, you know, no, we're speaking in Italian. This is what I want to do. Um, and so, you know, it doesn't matter like where you're going to, to do the language, but I'm just saying that you definitely want to sort of be strong with that and forceful with that to a certain extent of, you know, if you're really trying to immerse yourself and really connect with people, language is going to be a huge way to do that in a lot of parts of the world if it's different from yours. And so you want to be able to take that on. Um, another thing that people don't think about is the style of dress that you have. So a lot of places that you're going to be traveling, you know, the style of dress, um, that people sort of use is going to be very different and it's going to be very telling to sort of separate yourself between being a local and being a tourist. I mean, I can definitely speak for this, you know, sort of living in different parts of the world, different living in different parts of Europe as well, particularly um, where people tend to be a little bit more stylish, a little bit more sleek than um, Americans as a whole. And so, you know, that was something that I really had to think about. I definitely learned a lot, particularly living in Italy, you know, for example, how, and I mean, this is kind of true when I lived in the UK as well, but how, for example, you know, like typically Europeans and a lot of people around the world 
Um, they don't sort of do what Americans do, what we're just kind of used to doing where it's like, you know, maybe you're running out to do a couple errands and you just go ahead and like, you know, put on some sneakers or, you know, as they may call them trainers and, you know, maybe some jeans or something like that. Like that is not really considered a normal style. Like typically people only wear trainers and sneakers, tennis shoes, things like that in parts of Europe, in the UK, if they're actually going to the gym or they're going for a walk. Um, and so it just kind of look, you can very, you can very much tell that it's an American style look. So people can quickly pick you out. Um, and that's just like one style, but it's something that always comes to mind is because, you know, like I sort of got used to that. So anytime that I saw people with like the sneakers and the jeans, I could immediately tell they were American along with other tells that I just kind of learned along the way. Um, and it's the same thing, like when people, you know, come here to the US, you can definitely tell how someone is dressed, how they present themselves that, you know, they may not be from around here. They may not be from the particular state that you're from. They may not be from the country at all, just on how they present themselves. So in thinking about how you can sort of quickly transition from feeling like a tourist to a local, just kind of, you know, sit somewhere and do some people watching, look at how people are dressed, look at how they present themselves when they leave their house, look at how they, you know, style their hair, what are they wearing on top? What are they wearing on bottom? You know, for the ladies out there, you know, do, do they do a lot of makeup? Do they do just a little bit of, you know, like maybe a gloss or a sheen or something? All these things sort of count. And it's just gonna help you to feel a little bit more included into the culture if you can sort of mirror what other people are doing. Now, obviously you don't wanna just copy anyone, you wanna be yourself and you don't wanna particularly change yourself extremely. Like, you know, obviously if you're going there for a semester, you've already brought a lot of things with you, you've packed a lot of things. So there's only so much that you can do in terms of that. You don't wanna completely just throw out your entire wardrobe, right? But it's like, if you can definitely sort of find ways to sort of, you know, maybe you just tweak it a little bit so that you fit in a little bit more, it's really gonna help you to feel a little bit more settled in and feel less like a tourist in your host country. So for the third way that you can sort of quickly transition from a tourist to a local is to go where the locals are. So I know that this within itself can feel intimidating, right? Because again, you're brand new, you may or may not know people who are there with you on your program, first of all. And then even if you do, you know, it's like you want to be able to explore, but you're kind of still going to be nervous because again, like, you know, you're in this sort of position where you are still an outsider, right? But you want to be more on the inside. So a great way to do that is to going to be to sort of go where the locals are. So instead of, you know, I mean, I will admit it because I've done it as well. Like, you know, your first week or so, you, if you, especially if you've never been to the place where you have decided to study abroad, you're definitely going to want to do all the touristy stuff. Like that's just a natural way of being. And I totally respect that. And I think that's great. But that's not something that you're going to want to do all the time. You know, it's like you want to transition out of that and sort of feel more like a local by doing what locals do. So it's like, do you live in a place where, um, let's say pub culture is really popular? Do you live in a place where, um, you know, people sort of gather in the square every night to sort of chit chat and meet each other and mingle? Do you live in a place where maybe there's lots of, you know, different sort of social clubs that people, you know, join, you know, within the neighborhood, or maybe there are different neighborhood meetings that people go to. And even if you're a student, you can still join. It's just for the neighborhood itself. So sort of starting to think about those things is going to be really important because it's just going to help you to sort of say like, you know, I want to meet more local people. I want to do things like the locals do. Um, how am I able to do that? Even down to things like, you know, the restaurants that you go to, the cafes that you go to, there are certain places where locals tend to be. It's usually off the beaten path. It's usually not going to be right in the downtown area or, you know, in the main town square, things like that. Locals, you know, they may frequent those places as, you know, if they're in the area, but they tend to have like their own sort of section in cities or in towns right where it's like they tend to also too want to stay away from the tourists because 
a lot of times the tourists are not emul emulating the culture. And so I think that that's gonna be very important for you. And it's something that most study abroad students tend to experience when they sort of get over that hump of, you know, I've been here for a couple of weeks, I've kind of seen everything I need to see, but then I also wanna be able to meet people and mingle properly. And I think that if you're able to tie in the fact of, you know, you're definitely gonna to want to assimilate, you are definitely going to want to try and mirror what the other locals are doing and definitely figure out where you fit in with the culture. I think that if you do that, then when you go to these places and you start meeting people that are locally from the culture that are from the place that you are, you're gonna feel as if you actually belong there and that you're not just trying too hard to fit in and that you can really make some great connections with people.